our premier facility for both boxing and fitness. He recognizes that, that's why he's here. That's why we are the home and the hub of hard work and champions. Good to be uh, back in the US. Obviously this is, this is the place where I made my rise, won my belts. So it's good to, uh, to go back to, to that beginning for this next chapter. This was like phase two of our training camp. We've already established ourselves in Australia. But obviously, you know, you've got to come to the US and you've got to prepare and prepare well. So we know that the US market is where you get the best sparring, the best training, and obviously look at these facilities, you know. Everyone is just uh, working hard. For me, wins and losses come with this game. That's part of the game. If I wanted to stay undefeated and, and, and enjoy them belts and, and sit with them, I could have. We know we could have sat there and, and milked it and then dropped a belt here and there and stood on top, but I didn't want that. I wanted to fight the best of the best and you learn from your losses, you learn from your wins. I've only lost to one guy, so my confidence, my hunger, my motivation is uh, at peak right now. Me and my team and my coach, we've sat back and analysed every bit of my fight game and become a better fighter. That's where people think that after a loss you, you, you go backwards. No, you become a better fighter. And I'll get to show that July 22. <laughs> Back to Rocky 3 when Rocky lost the belts, and then he had to come back. You know, and he had to go back to LA, he had to go back to, to the hard ass gyms to, to get to the top. You know, it's a similar feel. You know, I walk in here, all the young guys, hey champ, hey champ. But I've got to get back to that actual status. It's one thing, you've been champ, but for me, my motivation is to become champ again. I look at it as a reset phase for George, the comeback. Uh, and stylistically, when uh, I was kind of looking at who's going to fight George next and what opponent suited George. Maxi Hughes was the perfect style uh, for George to make his comeback and he's going to make it in an impressive fashion um, because we know that the lightweight division is still, you know, the hottest division out there. Look, I fought the best of the best, the elites. You know, look at the pound for pound rankings. A place where I was not so long ago. Both Lopez and Haney are in them, them rankings. you got to go back to, to your beginnings. you got to go back to that, that relentless, you know, that hunger, that drive to, to get back to the top. And that's, that's where we're at right now. His wife and kids are back at home, they're in Australia. You know? Dad's out here working, he's sacrificing. You know? And that's, that's what I did leading to, to my rise and to get to the belts. I did it the hard way, I did it uh, away from the kids and family. So I had to go back to that. Like I said, I've, I've, I've been in these situations many times, away from my kids and family. I've always performed, I've always showcased. When I did stay home, Kept it a little more comfortable. As a champion, things didn't go right. So I've had to go back to, to them beginnings. But that's part of the game. You know, if you're not prepared to sacrifice and prepared to uh, do what you got to do to get back to the top or to get to the top, then uh, there's no point. I might as well sit, sit back home and, and relax and, and enjoy. So miss them or not, someone's going to have to pay for that. And uh, that, that person that's going to play is uh, Max Hughes on July 22. I'm extremely bored in. I've got no distractions. I'm here in, in, in the US, in LA, for a reason. I'm very dialed in, very... You can see the difference from my last fights already. And that's just a small little entree. I'm sparring better than ever, winning the pads better than ever. Everything is just... Uh... You know, when I stay, no stone unturned, this is what it's been. When I sacrifice, I always bring out this more relentless hunger out of me you know when you're in your comfort zone and you're comfortable a little bit as much as you're training like an animal I always train like an animal you still have that comfortability I go home I'm comfortable in my house I'm comfortable with my kids and family here I'm going home to you know makeshift house that the team's living in we're watching fights we're starting fights if we come up with something we go in the backyard we start working you know so this is 24 7 war zone this is 24 7 you know Sacrificing for hard work in July 22, I'm back. You know, it's uh, so nice to have George on our side now. We, uh, we promoted uh, two great events with him and Devin Haney in, uh, in Australia, but now he's back, he looks in incredible shape, and he's ready to become a two-time lightweight champion of the world, so we're just thrilled that Team Cambosis and Top Rank have linked up. Uh, it's gonna be one hell of a partnership. 
Max Hughes is, is, is a good fighter. I'm not going to discredit him. He's the guy that's, that's you know, on the other side of the ring. Um, he's going to try his best, but again, like I've said, this is a whole other level. I'm sacrificing. I'm here. I'm putting in the hard work with, with the best in the world. So I've been in there with the best in the world, and I'm still, you know, putting that grind in with, with the same. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to make a good statement. He's a cagey fighter. He, he does certain things okay, but there's nothing there that stands out. Now, when you've got to fight guys like Lopez and Haney, and you've got to try pick the minute little holes out of these guys, and then you get a guy like uh, Hughes, uh, who's a good fighter, a good English fighter, you get to uh, see a lot of holes. He's like Swiss cheese. I see the holes. We're watching my fights, we're watching my losses, my wins, we're watching uh, Maxi Hughes' fights, we're watching everything, old fights. Everything, any bit of boxing, we love the sweet science. In our team, we don't. This is not like a, an effort. This is not something that like, we have to do. We love the sweet science. This is something we want to do. We don't need to, but we want to. You know, from from Gala, myself, like like a proper elite fighter, it's that discipline. When someone's been at the top already and seen it all, they just keep turning up day in day out. That's. That not only, you know, that the inspiration and motivation that I have, you know, inspires so many people around the world. It gives them the motivation to say, look, this guy, he's, he's been there, he's done it. And instead of just sitting there and enjoying, you know, what he's achieved, he's still out there grinding, grinding like, like a man possessed. And um, that's why I love it. I love it every day. I turn up every day. I put in the hard work every day. And until that fire burns out, that's when it'll be a day. But for now, man, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm, I can't really explain it because it's inside me, you know, that, that feeling, that motivation that I have. I'm excited. And uh, I feel good, man. I feel very, very focused, very zoned in. And, and I'm ready to make a good statement for July 22. Now, that's, that's the plan, not just victory, a statement. To show that not only we're back, but we never left. We're here. I want to fight this guy right now. Bring yeah. him in right now. I want to fight this guy. And get, it, get him done and dusted and go home. And I'm here, I'm sacrificing, putting the work. And uh, like I said, we're dialed in, we're ready. I'm excited, I'm refreshed, and I've learned from my wins and losses. You know, that experience there, that championship experience. It's a lot of experience there, man. Take it how you want it. It's pretty much three undisputed fights, so you can call the first one, whatever. But it's three 12 round elite fights with the lead fighters, two guys are in the top 10 pound for pound, so I'm there man. Don't judge me on my on my losses. Mm. Judge me on my return. I'm still here. I'm still chasing more. 